So tell us a little bit about your role then. Who will you be playing in Mary Poppins? Here? I play Bert, the lovable chimney sweep that does everything. What are people going to get from Bert here, at least in your role? Well, what's great about Bert is that he's kind of the omnipresent character. That he's the narrator, then he comes and becomes a painter, a street artist. He's a chimney sweep. Like he he wears so many hats in the show. And when Mary comes and lands in the in the musical, she enhances Bert's world and everybody's world. She's this amazing angel kind of witch <laughs> that saves the day and teaches lessons to everybody. So it's really amazing when Mary and Bert are together. There's this magic and this chemistry that is palpable from the, from the audience. Bert's such a jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. He so. totally is. <laughs> yep. He <laughs> does it all. You've closed a play before. You, you've done Mary Poppins, and this is going to be the last showing of the 2015-2016 season. So what is it like being that final play and trying to send it off on a positive note? Uh, it's great. I mean, it's my first time here in Raleigh. It's really a beautiful city and first time working for this theater company. And they've been so wonderful. It's really an exciting show to be part of. Everybody's really excited and happy and there's lots of great energy and ticket sales are going well. I mean, there's still lots of tickets available. So, you know, we're really excited to bring this story and this show to the Raleigh area. Get them while they're hot, right? Exactly. Get them while they're hot. We <laughs> can still be in good seats or else we'll be in the nosebleeds and the bleachers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nobody wants the nosebleeds. You don't want to have to take binoculars. No, out exactly. <laughs> what is it, a 3,000 seat theater here? Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's so. huge. Yeah, it's great. It's a very nice theater. Either way, even if you get the nosebleeds, they're still not that bad. But yeah. you want you yeah. want to get them early, though. You want yeah. to be up and close. Exactly. So exactly. you can see all the soot on your all face. All the right? soot and the sweat and the tab dancing and the <laughs> flying. Uh, oh, yeah, it's great. Now, of course, you've done the role of Bert before. you have. Broadway production. Yeah. So what can you take from that? Do you pick from previous performances or how does that impact your role here yeah what's great is that we can bring ourselves to the role so it's not like i have to be like dick van dyke or mary has to be like julie andrews mm -hmm. so it's really great that we're able to bring our little personalities and our little quirks to the characters and so yeah there's definitely little things i'm taking from my interpretation of the role on broadway that i can do here as well because it's the same show same script same songs and of course, adding little nuances based on you know who's playing Mary Poppins and the kids as well. We have two young children in the show. Uh, they're 10 and 12, and they are on stage almost the entire time. It's really fantastic to build these relationships off stage and on stage in the, these shows with all these new cast members. It's really magical. I'm always fascinated to see how actors tap into that role. Do you go back? Do you watch the original Mary Poppins? or What inspires you to get into the role and capture it and make it your own? Yeah, different people have different ways of the process to create their characters. Since Bird is such an iconic role with Dick Van Dyke, there's definitely, I watch the movie and there's definitely things that I steal from Dick Van Dyke's interpretation so I can bring it in. But as well, I can bring myself to the role and create this character with all these inspirations. So it's really, really fun process to to be able to have all these sources, like the books written by P.L. Travers, the movie, and even this newest one, Saving Mr. Banks, that is this great story of how the movie almost didn't happen yeah. because P.L. Travers was hard to work with, a bit, to, <laughs> to be nicely, to put it nicely. A little prickly. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's really great to have all this source material to be able to bring this character to life. So do you get butterflies still, like, before the performances? Or what, what goes through your mind? <laughs> butterflies, yes. There's this excitement. Every time the curtain rises and yeah. the first notes of the show happen, there's this, like, energy and this surge of adrenaline. I wouldn't say it's nervous energy. It's more very excitement to go from that journey. It's two and a half hours of this show. And what happens for those two and a half hours, there's just so much. And it's just this great journey. And so it's just so exciting every time. Yeah, I'm sure it's got to be exciting, too, to just finally, after two weeks of rehearsals, once you get to that point, to finally be able to show an audience and, yeah, and totally. not just be performed for yourselves. Exactly. And what's so great about this production, it's a local production. It's not a tour. So there's some talents from New York and a lot of local talent as well, people who are from here or who have moved to New York from Carolina, and they are come back to do the shows here. And it's amazing the amount of talent that is from this area. People will be amazed. It's yeah. going to be an impressive performance. We look forward to it. Mary Poppins once again, July 26th through 31st. Before we let you go, anything else that you want to add or, or that we need to let the audience know? It's a family show, but everybody from young to old love the musical. It's not just a kid's show. So people you know, are like, oh, let's go bring our kids to the show. But they leave going, wow, I, they learn lessons. They take something from the show. Both young and old have this amazing connection with the show. It's really amazing. Well, Nicholas, or shall we say Bert? Yeah. <laughs> we, All right. Yeah, exactly. There you go. You're already you're ready. You're, you can go right now. You don't need a two weeks of rehearsal. <laughs> we appreciate your time, and best of luck to you. We look forward to seeing how Mary Poppins is at July 26th through the 31st. Thank you very much.